Welcome to today's class. In management information today, we'll be looking at the topic accounting for overheads. So in this, for today's class, we'll be looking at manufacturing overheads, introduction to absorption costing, stages in absorption costing, overhead apportionment, apportionment of service department cost, overhead apportionment, overhead absorption, on the absorbed and overabsorbed overheads. We also look at fixed and variable overheads as well. So we'll start with the manufacturing overhead. In the previous classes, this, this first section is just a brief revision of what we did in the previous class. In the previous class, I talked about different types of expenses. Cost was, cut, was given um, different kinds of categories. So here we have direct and indirect expenses. So we also have what we call manufacturing, administration, and selling cost. Direct expenses refers to those expenses that are incurred directly attributable to the manufacturing or purchase of any particular item. So direct expenses in a manufacturing setting, manufacturing overhead, refers to those expenses that are incurred directly in the process of manufacturing uh, that particular item, that particular product. Well, indirect expenses refers to those expenses that are incurred in the manufacturing organization, but they are not directly attributable to the production of that product. Okay, what I mean by directly attributable means that these expenses is incurred, that's direct expenses is incurred because we want to produce this particular product. Now, had it been this product was not to be produced, we will not incur this particular type of expenses, okay? So we have manufacturing costs. Manufacturing costs refers to those costs that are incurred in the manufacturing process. All the costs incurred in the process of manufacturing that particular item. We also have administration costs. Administration costs refers to those kind of, those costs that are, uh, that are incurred as a result of administrative purposes. We also have what we call selling costs. Selling costs refers to those costs that are incurred in the process of selling the goods that have been produced, you know, because of selling it to the final consumers. So the admin example of um, administrative or administration costs refers to uh, the salaries of the accountant, uh, the Salaries of the cashier, the cleaner, the manager. Now, these costs are costs that will be incurred whether we manufacture this particular product or item or not. And then we also have um, examples of selling costs to refer to those costs that, are, like I said, are incurred in the process of selling the goods to this customer. For example, you can have distribution expenses. They are trying to, um, maybe the company takes care of the delivery expenses of delivering goods from the warehouse to the customer's residence. These are part of selling costs. Okay, so like I said, this first section is a brief uh, review of what we've done in the previous class. So direct costs are always variable costs. Variable cost simply means that this cost, the, the amount, increases as the quantity to be produced also increases. If I'm to produce uh, a three tier cake and I'm told, and I know that I'm going to use three packets of flour, okay? So a three tier cake will make use of three packets of flour. So that means if I'm, if I'm making a nine tier cake, that means I'm, I'm going to use nine packets of flour, okay? As the quantity, uh, expected quantity increases, so does the material. That's the direct cost itself also increases. So direct materials are part of inventory value. Examples of direct materials refers to the raw materials and the components, raw materials and the components. And we also have direct labor. Direct labor is also part of inventory value as it is part of the cost of inventory. Direct labor simply means those, uh, the the amount of money incurred, expense incurred, the amount of money paid to those who are actually in the production process. Okay, so this is factory labor, 
the amount of remuneration of wages given to the workers that are working in, in, the, in the production process of that particular product. Then we also have direct expenses. Yes, it has the word direct with it. So it says, is any uh, expenses that is incurred as a result of producing that particular product or item. So it